What's up everybody? This is your boy Charismatic Lee with another episode of Talk What You Know. Today we're going to discuss pet peeves, some of which may be yours too. So let's get right into it. Pet peeve, when I let somebody into a lane and they don't wave. This is all you got to do. Pet peeve, when someone cuts me off while I'm talking. I hate that. Pet peeve, when someone cuts me off while, answer, while I'm answering their question. You asked me a question, I started to answer it, and you cut me off after two words to re-explain the question, which I already understood in the first place. I hate food photos on social media. I don't need to see a picture of your Captain Crunch or your low budget <laughs> pet peeve. <laughs> Alright, let me be serious. Picture of your Captain Crunch that you're eating for breakfast. Ugh. Pet peeve. I hate when people are drunk around me. Some people think that's funny, but I hate it. I get annoyed. Probably because I don't drink. So, when people get drunk or tipsy around me and start acting silly, it annoys me. Pet peeve. How seriously people take social media. Listen to me. Social media is not real. Now that they've added video, it's kind of real, but it's really not. Like, don't, social media is entertainment, and remember that. Tell me that she learned a valuable lesson from reality TV. Commenting on my driving. <laughs> don't be in the car with me and comment. That's one of the rules of my car. I only have three. No smoking, no commenting on my driving, and no touching my radio. But a pet peeve is definitely commenting on my driving. Don't comment. It distracts the driver and I have your life in my hands. I can't be distracted. Man, I hate being ignored. It's frustrating. Pet peeve. Around 2004, 2003 when Roy Jones stopped boxing, I stopped watching boxing. So every now and then I watch a boxing match. And I despise when I see boxers get robbed on the judges scorecards. This is like frustrating. Um, boxing has fallen off. You don't see the amount of elites that you did maybe even like 15 years ago. So I'm done with it. And I hate to see a boxer get robbed. Greatest robbery of all time in my personal opinion. Roy Jones Jr. 1988 gold medal match. YouTube it. Pet peeve. Anybody who believes that Oscar De La Hoya beat Felix Trinidad back in 1999. If you believe that Oscar actually won that match. I hate you. He ran the last four rounds and he didn't win the first eight rounds. He won like maybe like five of them. Tito won that fight and everybody should know that. Pet peeve. When Popeyes runs out of chicken, it's annoying that the chicken store doesn't have any chicken. It's like Toys R Us not having any toys, even though Toys R Us doesn't exist anymore. Oh man, Steve Harvey speaks for himself and his 18 divorces. So when people say, oh, I learned, well, when women say, oh, I learned this in Steve Harvey's book, like, I don't care. And I hate it when anybody brings it up. Pet peeve, snitches get stitches. But it'd be the main dudes from the hood snitching as soon as they're in the car. And then when they get all those years thrown at them, dudes will rat on anybody to get out of jail. Facts. People who are close to me who still have cable, that is frustrating to me. Listen, you got to cut the cord. If you're paying over $200 for a Comcast or a Verizon or whatever you're doing, stop doing it. All you need is internet. You can watch whatever you want for free. You can use Sling. You can use Hulu TV. You can use Direct TV Now. You can use PlayStation View. Some people like YouTube TV. I've uh, uh, tried them all. All you have to do is use your free trials and figure out which one works best for you. If you're an iPhone user, get you an Apple TV. If you're an Android user, get you an Amazon Fire or an Nvidia Shield or any Android device. You don't need a Fire Stick. People say Fire Stick because that's the most convenient to get, but it's also one of the slowest and also it burns and that's annoying. And what I mean by it burns is it gets too hot and you can't even watch it. I hate Fire Sticks. I would never buy another one for anybody in my family, but I will get them an Android device or you can get yourself one Get yourself an Apple TV and stop paying two and three hundred dollars for cable. That's crazy in 2019. When the bad guy will waste time explaining to the good guy why he's going to kill him or why he captured him 
or he's explaining his evil plot. Just kill him. I hate that. I've always hated that. It's so frustrating. And then by the time they're, they're finished explaining their evil plot or why they're going to kill the good guy, his friends come and save him. I hate that. Or something miraculous happens and then the good guy wins. Like, why do you need to explain your evil plot? It's frustrating. You're doing it wrong if you're not doing it my way. <laughs> it's really that simple. I, I hate when people think like that, that like there's no room for a better idea. Like my dad used to always get on me about that. Like, oh, Khalid got a better idea. Yes, you should always like not reinvent the wheel, but look for ways to improve the wheel or break the wheel altogether. Or we're always like never going to change and never going to evolve into better technology, better people, new ways of working and new ways of thinking. So just because I'm not doing something your way doesn't necessarily mean uh, I'm doing it wrong and vice versa. My phone being on 80% after it's only been on for 10 minutes. I don't know how, how, like what's going on with these phones that are draining the battery so quickly, but maybe I just need a new one. Playing a game like chess or poker and I commit an unforced error, which is something that I didn't have to do. Like I hate that, I hate that like it within myself and I really need to limit my unforced errors in life. Like think about when you do something that you did not have to do when you play armchair quarterback and look back on it, could you have done something differently? Did you not have to do it that way? Pet peeve, when I'm using cruise control on the highway and the car in front of me is doing less than the speed limit and there's two cars on either side of me and I can't get over and I gotta slam on the brake, annoying. I personally hate that payphones no longer exist. Like, I can't ever find one. Not that I've ever needed one, but I did need one one day. I remember uh, T-Mobile lost all their service. I had T-Mobile. I needed to use a payphone and I could not find one. <laughs> I don't like people touching me. Self-explanatory. Preface this by saying I am not homophobic, but I hate when gay dudes try to eye contact me. Like, don't eye contact me. People are like, why? Because when gay dudes try to eye contact you, they're trying to see if you're gay too and I don't even want people looking at me, so no, I'm not gay and I don't want you looking at me or eye contacting me. Uh, call me a hater, but that is a pet peeve of mine and I'm frustrated. Pet peeve. I was never in a kid in school who could be like, call my mom, I don't care. <laughs> there was always a kid like that in one of my classes and I always envied them because if I told a teacher to call my dad, they couldn't wait to call my dad because they knew what my dad was going to do to me. When I'm watching Worldstar, enjoying a good fight, and it turns out not to be a good fight because one of the people gets knocked down and they don't get up. I don't understand why people don't get up in a fight. Get up! Pet peeve. I used to hate when my mom bought the fake cereal, like the fake Captain Crunch that was called Croco Crunch from Save-A-Lot. Ugh! It does not taste the same. And in most cases, it doesn't taste better. Real actual cereal from the real supermarket, from General Mills or uh, uh, whomever, Post, always tastes better than the Save-A-Lot brand. Debate me. Pet peeve. I always hated it when in the hood, uh, the hood guys will have their little man hook off on somebody. And sometimes it was me. <laughs> Where the, the kid, it'll be a kid who's smaller than you are and they're like, get him, get him. And you can't beat him up because the whole hood is standing there. So nowadays on camera, it'll look like the little dude is beating the crap out of the big dude, but he can't tee off because the whole hood is standing behind the camera and that's what you can't see. And if he does hit him, he's going to get smashed on camera because they're all behind the camera just waiting. I used to hate when I was a kid and I was watching TV in the room by myself and somebody, one of my little brothers or somebody would come and sit behind me and say, excuse me. And if I didn't move, they would call and tell my mom and say that I was blocking the TV. Really? I was here first. I hate when somebody would ask me a question as a kid and I would tell them no. Like for example, can I use your crayons? Or can I play with your good transformers? No. 30 seconds later, here comes my mom. And then they ask me again in front of my mom, knowing that now I have to say yes. I hate these hood tricks, and that is a pet peeve of mine. Don't ask me questions in front of my parents. I hate that breakfast exists. Like, I hate that food is categorized into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
Why can't I eat a bowl of cereal at 7 p.m.? When I go to the doctor's office and I still have to wait when I have an appointment. So it's like, all right, your doctor's appointment is at 1 p.m. You get there at 12.45 and you still got to wait. Then around 12.30, they call you into the room and the doctor's not there. So you got to sit there for another 15 minutes to wait for the doctor to get there. That's annoying. Please don't one word me. Like I was talking to people on the uh, messenger on Facebook and I'm like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Like very excited. Like I heard you had a baby. Congratulations. And they're like, how you doing? Fine. <laughs> I heard you had a baby. Congratulations. Thank you. And that's it. Like, eh, don't one word me. I hate being one worded. Thank you was two words. I get it, but don't one word me, even via text. Once I'm getting one worded, I'm done with the conversation. Sometimes I'm done with you if you really weren't my friend to begin with. When a job or recruiter does not call me back after they interviewed me, it's like, oh, Khalid, we're going to let you know uh, either way. We'll, we'll let you know, but then they don't let you know and you don't hear from from like three or four weeks. That's annoying. P, whenever I see somebody with some amazing abs and they say diet and cardio, <laughs> it's frustrating because you know what to do and you know what you have to do, but it's just easier said than done. Like it is, that is true. To have amazing abs is all about diet and cardio, but that's a whole nother world. That eating healthy is so expensive. It's like the more preservatives and the more sugar and the, the worse that food is for you, the cheaper it is. I used to live off of 99 cent and $1.99 banquets and I could fill my freezer with like 30 of them for like 40 bucks and be good for like three weeks. <laughs> started working out, started eating healthy and a pack of nuts cost like $8. And that's only the beginning. Eating healthy is expensive and it's frustrating. I just hated dudes in the hood who are only as tough as who their friends are or who their family is or what their last name is. And you all know who they are in the hood. Uh, you're only as tough as who you hang with. You're only as tough as what your last name is. You can't fight. Pet peeve. When I spend a lot of money on something, then I go back and like two weeks later and it's on sale. Or like... 40 days later and it's on sale. You pay like $90 for this polo shirt. You come back and it's $30, but it's too late to get the retro money back. And that's frustrating, which is why I stopped wearing a Ralph Lauren. I would never wear another polo shirt ever in my life, period. Speaking of World Star, I hate when it's down. I need my ratchet. I'm not in the hood like that all day, every day anymore. So it's my only outlet to what's going on out there in the hood in my world. So. When World Star is down, I'm down. Pet peeve, when I know somebody is holding their phone, like I'm looking at them while I'm calling them and they're still egging my call. Ha! That you believe in your heart that Jerry Rice is a better wide receiver than Randy Moss. Stop it. Randy Moss is the greatest wide receiver in the history of the NFL. Facts. When people say that Philadelphia is a small city, do you know how big Philly is? It's not a small city at all. When they don't have my size in the sneaker store, but come back with some alternate sizes. Like for example, I wear a size 10 and a half and they'll come back and say, we don't have 10 and a half, but I brought you a nine and I brought you a 13. <laughs> like, yo, what am I going to do with a nine and a 13? I hate that. Pet peeve. I hate stopping chats. What is a stopping chat, you ask? A stopping chat is when you see an acquaintance who you really weren't friends with, but you know them, and you got to stop and have a 30 to 60 second conversation with them, exchange numbers. You never even had two conversations with this person, but because you know them, you have to stop and chat with them and be cordial. I hate stopping chats, and I try to avoid them at all costs. Chat and cuts. What is a chat and cut, you ask? A chat and cut is where <laughs> everybody's in line, you're in line, and somebody who's not in line comes and speaks to somebody who's probably an acquaintance that they didn't even know uh, in front of you, and they're having this fake conversation, and that person winds up getting in line in front of you. It could be at the buffet or waiting to get into somewhere, but they did a clever chat and cut to cut the line instead of getting in the back where they should have been. 
I hate when people press the elevator button when it's already lit. I hate the bathroom police, i.e. my girlfriend. She manages how often I take a shower, when I took a shower, whether or not my toothbrush is dry, whether or not I use the brand new rag that she changes every 10 seconds. It's frustrating. I hate the bathroom police. Pet peeve. I hate when gorgeous women have bad breath. <laughs> And women probably hate when dudes have bad breath. That's a pet, uh, whew, that's a pet peeve.